Mr. Forbes, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect you to come in person. These gold diggers. Gold diggers? Mm-hmm. Her? Yes, they were basically buying everything in the store on your black card, and I knew you would never give it out. You're absolutely right. I would never give out my black card because I'm very terrified of gold diggers, especially those who spend 150 k on clothes instead of medical supplies, like I intended. Is that what she did? Shameless! Unless, of course, that gold digger is your future wife. Of course. Wait, what? <gasps> Mr. Forbes! What can I say? Happy wife, happy life, right? I am so sorry if I had known. If, if they had told me. We did. Or we tried to. Mr. Forbes, I'm, I'm so sorry. Please, I can't, I can't afford to lose these. Please. Don't ask me. Ask her. That's Blair Rose. Her family owns the entire mall. Miss Rose, I'm so sorry. Mr. Forbes, I'm so sorry. Please, please, I'm so sorry. You look beautiful together. 150K? Really? In your own mall? I thought Nathan Forbes was known for his generosity. I sure am. I just can't help but to think that you're messing with me. We both know you didn't need my money. Well, I just had to make sure that you deserved all the hype. You know, I always thought you were just another boring rich girl. No offense. Don't take it. It's almost like after that accident, you've become a whole new person. I see you in a different light. Where's this player been all my life? Maybe I am a whole new person. What matters is I'm here now. And how do I know that you're not playing me? You don't. You'll just have to bet on me. First, I got having a savior from the hands of that saleswoman. And second, <laughs> the security guard. What's next? I'm going to have to break you out of jail? That's quite the bet, B. Well, high risk, high reward. Well, I look forward to it then. What did I miss? We are just saying bye. Hey, I need you to do something for me. Send one of your gangsters to follow Jack Marshall. Isn't that Blair Rose's fiance? Don't tell me you've been acting so weird because of her. She's been head over heels with him her whole life. Something changed. I gotta know what. But why? Phil, just get it done for me, all right? Oh, I really thought Nathan was the douchebag, not Jack. How could I be so blind? Maybe it doesn't have to be just transactional. What am I thinking? It's Nathan Forbes. Blair, baby. What were you doing in there? It's not what it looks like. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you think it looks like? Nothing. I heard from Connie that you were hit by Nathan Forbes. So I came to check on you, but you weren't home. But I ran into Connie instead, and so, so we hung out. You heard from Connie. I just, I didn't realize you're so close to my little cousin. Blair, baby, your cousin's my cousin. Of course we're close, and we're just worried about you. So worried that you went to check on me in her bedroom? No, no. Oh, he was just coming to bring you this. It's for the auction next week, but we both know you hate things like that, so I was just gonna go with him. I'd love to go. But do you hate things like this? Well, almost dying today made me realize that you only live once, so you've gotta make every moment count, right? Absolutely right. I'm so glad you're willing to come. Mm. Oh. I could stay with you tonight, babe. You know, to make sure you're okay. Really? You do that? Of course. I've been wanting to. 
You guys are so gross. Uh, I'm gonna go back to my room. Oh, sorry, I forgot you were here. <laughs> okay. So, I can stay with you tonight? Keep you safe? Maybe we could finally... You know that I'm saving it for the right time. Right. Marriage. Yeah, of course. Sorry. It's fine. I'm really tired. Today was a lot, but I'll see you at the gala, okay? Ugh, I can't believe I let Jack touch me. Miss Rose. Mr. Forbes. I believe you still have something in mind. What are you doing next weekend? What are you doing next weekend? Why? Are you asking me out? No. There's a charity gala with an auction. Right. Yes. Invited but not going, I imagine you aren't either. Actually, I am. And I was hoping you could go too. And what do I get out of this? Your card back. Obviously. All right. I'll, I'll think about it. One Forbes special? Uh, why do I feel like Blair Rose has you completely whipped? She's marrying someone else in a month. Now, nah, who knows if she will. Did you find that thing I was looking for? You come to my club, you use my men, and you play with my girls. Hey, you're the one who said this was my second home. Plus, hey, I never touch your girls. Yeah, right. Whipped. That's Connie Rose. Yeah. There you have it. Jack Marshall is fucking Blair's little cousin. That's probably why she's trying to fuck him over. No. I've known Blair since we were little kids. For her to do something like this, he must have done something unforgivable. Jack, baby, what are you doing? I don't understand. You don't understand? You still don't understand? How fucking stupid are you? What do you mean? Is this not clear enough for you? I don't love you, Blair Rose. I've never loved you for one day in my entire life. You don't mean that. My dearest, dumb, naive cousin. <laughs> Connie? You are so stupid, I almost feel sorry for you. <laughs> Why? What did I do wrong? Five years of marriage. Giving me virtually unlimited funds. <laughs> Hell, you helped me become congressman. You even made sure not to get pregnant. The only thing you did wrong, Blair, was choosing me. But it's too late. Jack, just do it already! No! Jack! No! <laughs> no! No. Prove it then. What? Come downstairs. Where are you? <laughs> what is this? It's an electric scooter, princess. No, I mean, you, what are you doing here? I was just passing by. Just passing by at 3 a.m. on a scooter? <laughs> Nathan Forbes, are you drunk? I don't know. Were you crying? No. You ever been on one of these before? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I'll be your first. Okay, great. <laughs> 
<laughs> Wasn't bad. How do you like this thing? It's pretty good. All right. Do you even live here? <laughs> the pool is always more of a decoration. I never actually used it before. Girl who has everything, huh? What else haven't you done? Oh, so many things. I always thought I'd be better off doing what people thought I should do. I don't know, I just feel like the people I thought I knew turned out to be strangers. And now even I feel like a stranger to myself. I don't know, that probably doesn't make any sense. No, but... it makes sense. I don't know what happened, B, but I like who you are now. Yeah? Yeah. Well. <laughs> what about now? <laughs> Oh my god. You are going to regret that. Give me your best shot. Okay. I'll see you at that auction. You'll come? I thought I came here to reject you, but I thought wrong. You changed my mind, B, about everything. No fucking way. Blair Rose cheating with a guy on a scooter. Jack's gonna love this. Did you see the video? Can you tell who that is? No, it's too dark. I can't believe Blair would do something like this. Is she cheating on me? Oh, come on, babe, it doesn't matter. Besides, you have me and all she has is some broke guy on a scooter. Fuck it, you're right. Anyways, baby, you know I was excited for the auction tomorrow. Yeah, you wanted the, uh... Taylor Burton Diamond? I'll get it for you. I promise. I know, but Blair's said that she's coming. She's not interested in jewelry. That woman has no taste. <laughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs>